at this hour, the National Director of Public Prosecutions, Shamila Patoy, has withdrawn racketeering charges against former KZN prosecutions boss Johan Boysen and his co-accused. Now, the decision was made following recommendations from a panel set up to review the case. Now, the accused had been charged by former ex-NPA bosses, Domko Bojiba and Sean Abrams. Now, the remaining charges, which include murder and defeating the ends of justice, will be referred back to the acting head of uh, KZN DPP, that's uh, Elaine Zungu, for reassessment. All right, uh, let's get uh, more detail on this breaking news. We're joined by the NPA's head of communications, Bulelwa Makeke. Ms. Makeke, thank you very much for your time. Uh, firstly, talk to us more about uh, these recommendations of uh, the panel that was set up by the NPA head uh, to probe these particular charges against uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the former members of uh, the KZN Hawks. Why the recommendation to withdraw the racketeering charge in particular? Good morning, Polly. Um, good morning to your viewers. Um, as, as, as the statement does indicate, the National Director has, has been faced with um, a, a lot of cases that he has to review. But this one particularly because it's at litigation uh, level where they are... Where they are um, um, you know, General Boyston has actually asked for the matter to be set aside. The NDPP now had to make a decision. She, obviously, because um, you, you know, she had to put together a panel that would actually go through everything that would have been presented before the two, um, the former national directors, um, to, to determine whether the decision to authorize those racketeering charges is actually um, valid. Talk to us then about the implications of uh, the withdrawal of uh, some of these charges. In the main here, we're talking racketeering charges. Talk to us about the implications of this for the next of kin of the deceased persons, the ones that who obviously would have filed complaints against the police's conduct. How are they uh, affected by this decision? Um, that's a very important point to make. Thank you very much. You know, the, the issue of, of withdrawing the racketeering charges does not mean that all the other charges are actually falling off. The National Director actually emphasizes that very, very, uh, very much. That, um, you know, in fact, she has asked the DPP, the acting DPP advocate Zungu, to make contact. With, with those family members of, of, of the deceased to make them understand that this doesn't mean that the matters uh, fall off altogether. So all the other predicate offenses will still be reassessed by the acting DPP in KZN to make sure that the, you know, um, there's justice um, served for those, for those victims. So this means then that uh, uh, General Johan Boysen, alongside those that he was accused with, still face murder charges and others that they were charged with back then? Well, in, 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 in the sense that, you know, the charges are being brought by the DPP office in KZN. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that will still have to be considered by that office. Remember, the issue that came to the national director was the issue of authorizing the racketeering charges because only the national director can do that. And the matters never continued to, to trial because there was always these um, these um, applications to 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 set aside the charges of racketeering. Hmm. So the other charges like the murder, housebreaking, theft, and defeating and ends of justice, all those are still matters that must still be considered by the FNDPP. Hmm. Uh, just as a final question to you, then, uh, Ms. Makeke, uh, talk to us about. Um, the, the, the question here is about uh, the, what in essence was the motive for the former uh, NPA heads, Nom Gobo Jiba and uh, uh, Sean Abrams here, what did this panel find was the motivating factor for bringing on this charge of racketeering against these accused? 
Um, Tolly, the exercise of reviewing, reviewing this decision was not to find motives or anything like that. The, the, the purpose of the review was to make the national director have all the information that she needs to be able to make this decision. So, um, you know, it, it, it's really not up to, to me now at this point to, to come up with motives because, you know, <laughs> that, that's outside of the of the, the mandate of this exercise. Mm. And uh, was this uh, panel recommendation or the fines of this panel, were they unanimous? Unanimous, yes. They, all, all four of them agree that um, really the information that is before them all the relevant material that, that that would have been presented before the two former national directors doesn't give them any sense that these authorizations were valid. All right. Thank you very much for your time. That's uh, the NPA head of uh,